What up YouTube? This video was taken on this Monday afternoon, April 21st, 2014. Time right now is 3.54 p.m. And this is going to be a rant slash review video. First off, before I say anything, I just want to let you guys know that everything I'm about to say is coming from a guy who only wears tennis shoes. So, Adidas Dragon, in my opinion, is the best uh, shoe out there, most comfortable shoe out there. I was trying to change, I had uh, these uh, for over, well, I had two different pairs for over two years. This one is pretty much worn out, but uh, uh, these are the most comfortable shoes out there. Uh, I was trying to change things up when I bought shoes, uh, so I bought these to change things up but uh these are comfortable but i just the dragons just fit my feet perfectly so everything i'm about to say is coming from a guy who if i had a choice would be wearing adidas dragons all the time but apparently well not apparently i don't have a choice when i'm at work they require you to wear a steel toe boot steel toe shoe so for I was always buying the cheap shoes. Uh, I'll tell you what, if you're going to buy a cheap steel toe shoe, the best quality cheap st steel toe shoe you can buy is from Sears, their Sears Roebuck brand. But I was experimenting buying these cheap 40, uh, 50, I think 60 or uh, I might have paid $80 for a cheap shoe. I was experimenting a uh, guy at work re recommended Converse work, which I don't, they were crap. So I got tired of buying a shoe every year. I was buying a shoe every year. And my dad went and recommended me buy a pair of Red Wing shoes. My dad's an auto mechanic, and uh, that's all he wears. Even, he very rarely wears tennis shoes. Maybe on the weekends he'll wear tennis shoes. But he's always wearing a Red Wing uh, boot. And he has a specific model number. That's, that's the only model number he wears. But he went and recommended me buy Red Wing shoes. So I went into the Red Wing store last year, last February, February of 2013. And uh, I was going to get a boot. I was going to say, you know what, I never wear a boot. I'm going to try wearing a boot. But the guy in the store convinced me not to get a boot since I am a tennis shoe guy. And I really don't need a boot at work. And tell you the truth, I really don't think I need a steel toe at work. It's just an uh, OSHA liability thing. I uh, doubt that I'll ever uh, actually put a steel toe to use at my job. But uh, electrical hazard at my job is definitely uh, something that uh, is well worth it. So I go into the store and the guy um, goes and uh, is showing me all the shoes and I assumed you know what assume means. I assumed all Red Wing shoes were made in America. And uh, they had the work ran uh, at Red Wing. And I knew they weren't made in America. So I avoided the work ran. And uh, I ended up, out of the recommendation from the salesman, bought these shoes. And these shoes are, let me get the model number here. 6703. These are 6703s. So I bought these shoes. And uh, first leather uh, work shoe I ever bought. And uh, they were a pain in the ass to break in. I mean, they really hurt your feet. But once they got broken in, I will have to say, the only good thing I had to say about these shoes is they were super comfortable once they were broken in. Now, I do do a lot of walking. Uh, you know, people drive golf carts around. And, you know, I'll hop in a golf cart. But normally, I'll just go and walk to wherever I need to go. Uh, so, uh, had these since February 2013. Once they got broken in, they were super comfortable shoes, super, uh, I really enjoyed my purchase. Then I noticed, starting in January of 2014, January of this year, uh, I had a chunk of rubber come off when I was walking, and I felt it come off. Now, I will admit that this part right here is probably me, left foot probably me dragging my heel on my left foot but take a look at this heel look how just one year well now we're in april so you know 
one year and a couple months. But this started happening about one year mark. This soul just started deteriorating. And uh, on this other side, look at that. It completely cracked through. And I wasn't trying to, like, I didn't uh, have this video and you know, before this video tried to break it, this broke on its own. And it's probably from me, I do, when I'm on the ground, kneel, and I do like to try to, uh, kneel, stand on my toes. But, uh, I was extremely disappointed because I paid $140 for these shoes, and they only lasted me a year. You know, a cheap shoe would last me the same amount of time. Sure, these shoes were, uh, more comfortable than the other shoes I had. But, uh, you know, I survived fine in the other shoes. Why would I pay $140 just to have a boot last a year? So I uh, went back last uh, Thursday. I went to the Red Wing store here. And uh, the Red Wing store that I went to the first time closed. And this is a different store, but the guy said they were the same people. And uh, at first he said he didn't have my file on record, but then when we were ordering the new shoes, he found my file on the record. So he acted like, I told him, I said, you know, I only had these shoes a year. And he acted like, he's like, well, you got you got your money's worth out of them. You know, you really got a good use out of them. I thought, what the hell? You know, he thought it was no big deal that, uh, that the soles deteriorated this much. No big deal, man. This is supposed to be Red Wings. My dad is extremely hard on a shoe, and he can get, get a shoe to last two years, two and a half years. So I was just pissed, man, you know. So here's the kicker of it. When I, Before I went to the store, I went and I looked online, and uh, guess what? These suckers are made in Vietnam. They're not made in America. In fact, when you search for, uh, they call these Oxford, the shoe type, they, they call them Oxford. When you search for black steel toe Oxfords, pretty much all of them are made outside of the United States. There's only one model that's made inside the United States, and that's these bad boys here, the 4408s. So when I went to the store, I told him, I said, I want to try, I want to get the 4408s. And he said, the salesman's like, I never even heard of that number. I'm like, well, so he showed me all the other shoes, all the black, uh, uh, steel toe Oxfords that they have. They don't have the 4408s. And I'm thinking to myself, oh yeah, and they don't tell you that they're not made in America. Even though I knew that the majority of them aren't. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, should I whip out my cell phone here, go on the Red Wing uh, website and start checking each individual shoe to see if it's made in America? And, and I was like, and I told him that. I said, listen, the reason I picked out the 4408s is because they're made in America and I'm not satisfied with uh these uh shoes that i uh you know my last pair of red wings and the guy's like okay let me check well sure enough he comes out of the back he's like oh we have 4408s so they had a 10 and a half e2 and i needed a 10 and a half d so as soon as i got the oh yeah and the salesman tells me this he goes and says uh oh yeah they don't make these shoes anymore well, my dad warned me that uh, my dad's shoes are made in America, and they always give him a hard time uh, telling him, oh, we can't get those shoes anymore, and they end up having to order them. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, they're pulling the old, I'm only going to sell you what I have in stock, I'm not going to order you a trick, you know? So as soon as he pulls out the 10 and a half E2, you can tell, look at this shoe. Look how thick that sole is. You can tell that these suckers are a lot better quality than these uh, Vietnam crap. And uh, they're made in America. And you just you can just tell the craftsmanship on these shoes are a lot better. So the guy says, "Well, I can I can order uh, I can order the shoes and have them shipped to your door. We'll eat up shipping costs." So I ended up paying $180. Now I did get uh, through my company they give 10% off so I got $18 off but these shoes list for $180 and they're made in America and uh, they just came in today and look at this uh, you can just tell this sole is a lot better quality than uh, um, this sole right here that fell apart I mean it's, this is crap sorry I had to restart the video uh, <laughs> I guess <laughs> I got ranting uh, <laughs> A little too much. I was about to hit 10 minutes. But anyway, 
I'm going to go, I bought, the, I never treated these shoes with shoe cream. So, and I can tell these suckers are going to hurt my feet. I'm probably going to alternate every other day until these things get to a point where they're uh, not killing my feet. Because these suckers killed my feet the first month. And I can just tell walking around on the carpet here, the guy's like, uh, you know, walk around on the carpet. If you don't like the shoe size, you can come back to the store and we'll uh, get you other ones. But these 10 and a half D, th this is my shoe size. Now, uh, these were, same thing, these were a little tight on the sides. But the E2s, the 10 and a half E2s, they slip at the heel. I can't wear an E2, I gotta wear a D. So these were a little tight here and they were killing my feet here, but the leather stretched out. And once the leather stretches out, like I said, these were the most comfortable work shoes I had, but they're crap. So uh, I can tell that this one, you know, it's tight around here a little bit. Not too bad, but you know, it just hugs your feet a little bit. So they definitely got to get broken out, broken in, and the leather's got to get stretched out. And like I said, I'm gonna go and treat these, this leather with shoe cream. Try to keep this nice and neat. And uh, I'm gonna try to get two years. I want to get two years out of these shoes. Um, you can't re. According to him, you can't resole these, even though they're stitched. Uh, the salesman said uh, these are unresolvable. And then he said that these are unresolvable too because they're glued. Um, but uh, I'm done with these. I'm not going to even try to sole them. But I'm hoping that I last two years out of these. And if the sole does come open, I'm going to contact the company directly, not the salesman, not go in the store and talk to a salesman. But contact the company because they should be able to resole these, I would think. But you can just tell these soles are just thick. These are bad boys right here. And I hope I get two years out of them because uh, you kind of look like a fool when you pay uh, over $100 for a pair of shoes and uh, they don't even last a year. And uh, I don't want to be a fool. If these don't work out, I'm not going to waste my time with Red Wing. I'm just going to go back to the, like I said, the... $40, I think $40 Sears sells a Robux brand of a work shoe that, uh, if you're going to buy a cheap shoe, buy the Sears Robux brand. But uh, I just wanted to make a little rant video to let you all know that uh, just because they're Red Wings doesn't mean they're uh, high quality or made in America. And I uh, just wanted to uh, share my experience. Hopefully I can get, like I said... I would be tickled if I get two years out of these shoes. Another thing I want to point out too is these are electrically hazard uh, rated. These, when I looked up online, uh, they're static dissipated. They're the exact opposite of what uh, what you want if you're working uh, the electrical field. But uh, I don't, like I said, I don't really need a boot. I'm more of a shoe guy, and all, and my company wants these steel toe shoes, so this is what I got. And these actually have a defined heel on them. That's another thing that the company guidelines want you to have is a defined heel so you can lock into a ladder. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a little rant video about my Red Wing experience, and hopefully, maybe in two years, if everything goes well, I'll make another video showing you how well these shoes lasted in two years. Let's hope. I'm, But I'm feeling pretty good about it because you can just tell that this is a lot better craftsmanship. And this, man, this is a, a thick sole right here. This sole is tough. And uh, on the bottom it says made in America. Made in the USA. And they don't tell you that in the store. If you go in the store, there's nothing about which shoes are made in the USA and which shoes are not. So, uh, this video is 15 minutes long, <laughs> so uh, if you stayed all the way through, uh, that was just my little rant, and uh, let me know what you think, if you guys uh, use Red Wings or uh, have a particular uh, work shoe that you like to wear. See ya!